Good morning and welcome to another episode of Dermis with Dr. Vignesh Narayanar. Today we'll be talking about male pattern baldness or androgenic alopecia. Yeah. Male pattern baldness or androgenic alopecia is a common form of hair loss seen in men. It usually presents as a thinning of hair on the vertex region or recession of the frontal hairline. It may also manifest as thinning of hair over the temple region or the temporal area. So what causes androgenic alopecia? Well, it is a set of hormonal changes. Your body normally produces testosterone which gets converted into dihydrotestosterone. What this dihydrotestosterone does is it causes a thinning of the hair and causes a reduction in both the length, the diameter and the pigmentation. And this presents to you as androgenic alopecia. It is relatively common and it occurs in 30% of men by the 30 years of age and 50% of men by 50 years of age. There is a hereditary component associated with it and it is likely that you might have androgenic alopecia if either your mother had female pattern hair loss or if your father had male pattern hair loss. So it's a relatively easy thing to diagnose for your dermatologist and they will do it with a history and clinical examination. In addition, they may do a dermoscopic examination to see any additional features and to rule out differential diagnoses. There are a number of treatment options available to keep it at bay. This includes minoxidil and finasteride and platelet-rich plasma. And also there is a hair transplant for advanced and severe cases. What minoxidil does is it is a potassium channel opener which opens the blood flow to the hair region and it results in increase in thickness of the hair. However, it should be noted that minoxidil should be applied daily and should not be stopped. And it may take around six months to notice the effects. And although there may be an initial period of hair loss, it gradually improves. So come, let us fight androgenic alopecia together. Thank you very much for your patient listening.